Hey guys, so oh my goodness, long time no talk. I am finally doing this long awaited life update video that many people have been asking for. Um, I posted uh, like two videos a few weeks ago because I was going to jump back into YouTube, but then I was moving and so I didn't have internet for a few weeks. Now I have internet, it's all good. Can post YouTube videos again, which is very exciting because I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys. First off, I'm a brunette now. Big change, big change. <laughs> I've been a brunette for a little while, but I think the last video I posted, um, the Disney video, was like the first time you guys see me as a brunette. But I am brunette, and it's pretty cool. My hair is sort of a mess right now. I was just out at the barn today. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this video you guys what's going on with Marley and I. This is our puppy Aubrey. She's a boxer lab mix. Now that I have my own place it's a very pet friendly community and there's a dog park right below my house and Marley is obsessed with dogs. So we finally got her a doggy and she loves Aubrey so much and so this is Aubrey our puppy and we have two kitties and a horsey. I will do a video on all my animals separately um, let me get back to this life update. I just had to show you her because she's so cute. No. <laughs> you're so cute. Yeah. Oh, you took the best kisses. Marley's not here right now, which is, like, why I'm able to film this video in peace. But I will be posting a separate video showing you guys how big she's gotten. She's two and a half now, which is absolutely crazy. She turned two in April, so she's not quite, like, two and a half. But she's getting up there. Oh, this is Aria. God, she's made her appearance. This is our kitty, Aria. And she's like, get away from me! And I have one more cat, and his name is Ashes. So we have Aria, Aubrey, and Ashes. Anyways, I went through a major depression because I had lost my job. And so I had to get rid of one of my horses. Um, I gave him to one of my best friends. I gave Wrangler to one of my best friends because I couldn't afford two horses. I wasn't working. And I had to take Marley out of school because I couldn't afford school because I wasn't working. And I had to move back in with my dad. And so that was a little rough period for us, which is why I wasn't really posting on YouTube too much because I was just going through a hard time. I was like, reality is hitting me hard right now. That was a rough little patch I was going through for a month but then a friend of mine got me a job working with her at an insurance agency and so I became licensed and now I'm an insurance specialist so I can sell quote insurance and it's for like a private little agency and I love my job it is awesome and I love the people I work with I just work with three other people and we work privately for the owners and so it's a great job and it pays good money and so I got my own apartment and now we're in a technically it's a one bedroom because there's a living room and then a master bedroom but I sort of made it into a two bedroom I gave Marley the master bedroom and I made the living room into sort of my bedroom and so it's like a two bedroom we each have our own room our own space and it's a pretty spacious apartment I'm not really all the way unpacked yet because there's a box behind me and I still have to like hang some stuff up but that should all be done this week we have most of our house unpacked and then I will be doing an apartment tour so right now I still have rocket never get rid of him ever he is my baby and Wrangler I technically he's still sort of mine like she can't ever get rid of him she has to give him back if she ever doesn't want him anymore and Wrangler wasn't really sort of my horse to begin with I sort of took him for a friend because she couldn't keep him anymore and at the time I was able to afford two horses no problem but then when I lost my job I was like okay I can I can only I can't keep both of them right now so I gave Wrangler to one of my best friends and he's still out there with Rocket and um, I see him all the time still and I'm able to ride him and whatever you know so it worked out really good and Rocket is like my child I will never get rid of him we've been through a lot together since I rescued him and we are actually gonna start doing rodeo he is a barrel horse and he's amazing a lot of you asked why you know I have a horse and my family we are like country as heck my parents met actually riding horses they both had horses and my dad did like rodeo and all that and my uncle's a farrier which is someone who you know trims horse feet and puts shoes on horses anyways they had horses when they met got married on a horse ranch all that stuff then they got a pony for me and my brothers named hotshot so we always grew up riding horses and um 
I actually rode horses and competed with riding and always had horses growing up until I reached high school because then when I got into high school I was more focused on boys and high school and I was in IB and I ran track and cross country and basketball and was such an involved high school student that it wasn't fair for my horse personally I didn't think it was fair for her and so I sold her and I was you know a high school student focusing on everything and I focused on my pregnancy and Marley and I think when she was about like two, almost two years old, she really showed such an interest in horses because I was bringing her out to see um, my aunt's horses. So, you know, I was financially able to. I rescued Rocket. I love how she loves horses so much, which is like part of the reason I got back into it, not only because it's a passion of mine, but just seeing how interested she is in it and how much she loves it. I was like, how amazing for her to grow up doing it. And I had someone ask on my video about my horses, how do you afford horses? Um, well, because I keep them out at my family's property. She's like family to me. Um, she's like an aunt to me. Um, Marley just started a new school right next to my work. So I work Monday through Friday, eight to five, and her daycare is literally right next door to my work. So I'm able to just like walk if I needed to. So, I mean, that's where we're at in life right now. I haven't posted on YouTube because I was going through a little depression. Then I did move into this apartment, didn't have internet, but now everything's good. Um, I actually just got a new video camera, so I can, like right now I'm filming on my webcam, but I can do a day in the life because it's like one of those ones you like carry around with you and you can see yourself and like you can, f never mind. Anyways, so I'm going to do a day in the life probably this week. Um, and I want to do an apartment tour and a Marley room tour once we're finished unpacking, which will also be this week. And uh, I mean, I, I want to ask you guys, what do you guys want to see? Uh, Marley's not a baby anymore, so, you know, I was doing baby vlogs and all this stuff. But now she's two years old and she's like a little person now. She talks and... I mean, I will be posting, I will be posting videos of her so you guys can see how crazy it is that she is talking and she's like my little, she's like my best friend. This one is Ashes. So now you guys have seen all my animals. And so those are my babies. I love animals. If I could have like 50 million, I would. But this is all we're having because we do live in an apartment. Yeah. He's so pretty. Look at his eyes. They're blue. Um, as far as her dad goes and custody and everything, I have full custody. He really isn't around. He doesn't see her too much. I do everything by myself. And it's been like that since she's, I've had her pretty much. And so nothing's really changed as far as that goes. But anyways, thanks for watching. And sorry it took so long to get you guys this. But this is my life update, what's going on with us. Hope you guys enjoyed. It can help me out with some suggestions on videos. I hope to hear from you all. And this was a... Nice talk, nice talk. <laughs>